Um, this video is about my new WordPress theme that I've been working on for quite a while now. It's the first SEO WordPress theme built by an SEO expert. Now, a lot of these themes, uh, whether it's very vanilla or that has so many features that you might only use 20% of them, uh, the problem with those are that it's not built by SEO. It's really, um, if it is built on um, with the mindset of uh, SEO, it's really like the basic ones, right? Title, blah, blah, blah. Just very minute uh, information or implementation. Uh, and they call it SEO. It's not really built by an SEO expert. I've been doing SEO for a very long time, so I know the things that kind of uh, that works. A lot of the new stuff that that needs to be implemented, but <clears throat> a lot of these SEO audit don't know, um, don't implement a lot of these new tactics, right? Uh, for example, ugh. So um, here, John Mueller is talking about uh, having JavaScript just beneath the head section and not really crowding the head because uh, that's a lot of information. That's meta information, uh, just making sure that's clean. There's no SEO audit that provides that. There's also like um, um, your social media links that needs to be referenced as me so that when uh, you have uh, don't have that right now um, social links then you you need to add a reference to that uh, that's the that's your social media right so there's a lot of stuff that people don't know about SEO um, and people just kind of say this is SEO built by uh, uh, built with SEO in mind. Really, haven't focused too much on SEO, but more of like cool features that you might want or you and you never use. So this WordPress theme is really strictly, but you could use it for multiple purposes, but mainly for affiliate website because I have built multiple websites uh, and I'm using this on my sites as well. So uh, I really wanted something that focus on SEO, focus on speed, and not a lot of plugins. Um, I had a lot of issues with uh, WP Rocket uh, and with different plugins that have that's been installed. So when you go to a specific page, it just becomes blank for some reason. So uh, instead of creating a plugin for speed optimization, uh, I wanted to just build a theme ground up so that you don't need uh, a compression or you don't need uh, as much caching. You could maybe just use your web hosting cache or cloud flare for for example um, things like that and a lot of the other features that an affiliate website would need to succeed so for example we have the fixed sidebars we have the left and then the, the, the right so here I have you could as I'm scrolling down this right sidebar you can also enable the left sidebar with a fixed um, widget. So you could have your own ad or you could add a Google AdSense or Ezoic or whatever. So it's stay, staying right there. Uh, so it's ease of use. Um, for user profile, a lot of the, the user profile doesn't show image unless you, uh, like you could change your profile picture on Gravatar. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, right? 
because I'd rather just upload an image and then that's it. So here's the image, the bio, and that's it. Uh, call to action. Also, here I have enabled um, a call to action, added some content, uh, the heading, uh, image, uh, and you can also add it on top or the bottom. So if I click on both, so you only see the one at the bottom. Now you have one at the top right away, the animated, and then now you have both. Uh, and then you could customize it by adding heading or text, things like that. And then the link of the button. So it's built right in. There's no JavaScript that you need to add for an opt-in page. Uh, this could go into some sort of a landing page where they could enter, your e uh, enter their email and so on. You could change the background, text, CTA button, color, and background color. So that's what I did here. Table of content is built right in. So if you go to the SEO section, I have table of content after paragraph one. I could do a paragraph two. And then I have feature image just put it, uh, going down paragraph two so that um, when, um, when you're optimizing for page speed, you want images and table of content to kind of be low. So uh, on the front, on the main point, uh, you have above the fold. Sorry, um, it's gonna be a lot faster to load, right? So this is built right in. It's really fast. There's no CSS or JavaScript or any anything uh, that's um, lagging or uh, decreasing in your performance. This is a great uh, thing to have. Uh, table content is great because you want to create site links. Uh, and then you have the image right here. Um, you could create your own menu. So over here, you could see that the menu, the logo is in the middle, and then you have the menu on top. Um, with this site, I have the menu here and the logo on the left, and then a button here for account. You could do whatever if you have a membership account or. Uh, or something like that, then you could add that. It also has related posts automatically built in, so there's no additional plugin that you would need. <clears throat> um, sitemap is built in. So the difference between this sitemap and using Rank Math or Yoast is this, is this sitemap is built by WordPress themselves. There's some modification here. I added the last modification um, and then different sitemaps and then um, just make sure that it's um, every time is, is in order, right? So you don't want to... Um, every, yeah, the, the, the order isn't last modified compared to the built-in one. So it's a little bit... Uh, it's optimized for SEO, so it fetches the first... URLs, uh, and then see if there's new URLs, your page, and then Google will try to index those. Uh, but again, Rank Math or Yoast, they built their own sitemap compared to using Yoast uh, WordPress sitemap when they even. Uh, so it's, it's kind of like stupid in a way where why would they create their own sitemap when WordPress already provides the sitemap. You just need to optimize the sitemap and that's pretty much it. You could also exclude different types of sitemaps. So download categories or users or tags or landing page, just only post pages and categories is being indexed right now. And here you can see only those are showing up. If I enable these, then uh, the sitemap will populate uh, these um, URL slugs too. You could enable or disable featured image if you want to get a better, better performance. So if you have a lot of images, um, 
on the inside the article and you just want to remove this one, you can. Uh, for the blog section, the the thumbnail already shows, but if you disable the feature image, the only thing that's gonna disappear is this one. So you'll have better performance. Uh, you just won't have the feature image there. Um, enable comment box or not. You could just do that right there. Article schema, uh, once you enable it, you have the article schema built in for all of your articles, posts. Enable meta title and description, so you could do that as well. So title and meta description. If you don't uh, include any there, then you'll just retrieve this one, the, the first 150 uh, uh, within the article. So it, it makes sure it cuts off just the mount. Uh, so it, it starts, so 150 characters is the, the, the limit, and um, you won't be getting 350 or 700 uh, characters in the description. These are fully optimized unless you add your own and that's it. No index, exclude article of schema. You could also individually show um, or enable feature image or popular post. Popular post shows up on the, the home page. Um, but here again, compared to Yoast or Rank Mad, you don't need the readability or the scoring things. Uh, those are just wasteful stuff. Um, I, you, there's so many tools out there that you could um, use like Surfer SEO or uh, Content Pace or Neuron Writer. Everything that you could just add uh, your draft and make sure that you covered everything and then you could just upload it here. You don't need all those uh, crappy, wasteful readability and uh, you're missing this, you're missing that, all that stuff here. So it's very clean, uh, very lean. So this, it also helps with uh, the speed optimization. Site title, home description, blog, uh, add your scripts here, Google Analytics, organization page, um, so your organization is right there. You could do product or services if you need to. Um, no index media, no index tags or category. Robot TXC is already here too, automatically including all the necessary stuff here, so you don't have to worry about that. And then international SEO, automatically it's going to default to English and X default. So it's once you install it, it's pretty much kind of enabled from here. Most of the default settings, you could, again, remove whatever you don't need. But um, as for default, everything is there right out of the box. The home page, um, you could do a few things. Um, with our current, uh, for SEO rank, assert.com, uh, I'm using Elementor here. So this is built by Elementor Page Builder. But when it comes to um, creating your own um, a built-in home page where you could enable the hero banner, you could include a title, add an image here, um, tagline, copy, uh, if you want to create a button, a search bar, and things like that. Here's an example of what I did here. So title, tagline, description, search bar. And then here's the popular post that I was talking about. Uh, making uh, or, So the articles you could include in the popular post. Um, if you have a page, you could create hubs instead. So... Uh, the difference between a popular page and a hub page is maybe you have uh, just coffee maker reviews and you could create a page. Um, well, for example, here I have uh, this is a resource about AMP and instant article tool lists. Um, I could put this into a hub. 
Um, so in the home page, you'll see hub here and then all the hub uh, pages there. And then you have popular, which you just enable here and then it'll automatically pop up here. And then the latest is by default, all your latest articles are all included on the bottom. And here is the, the widget that I've created. Um, here's another example. I have to change that image. So here you can see an image with an Amazon link. And then this one, I'm going to link to the best article on best safety razor. Um, I could create multiple widgets. So, and then the more you add, it, it kind of condenses the, the image. But if you have like only two, then you'll see like uh, the image a little bit larger. I forgot what I put there, but So I included that, there you go. So now someone could just click on this and then go to Amazon and purchase it. So you could create different types of widget. I have widgets on menus. So I created different menus on best coffee question, best coffee grinder, best coffee maker. Now I have like the top five or 10 or whatever you want to create, you could just do that. So the home page again, this is oh, or and it's not again. Um, the more all the important links, if it's on the home page, it's easy. Google will crawl your home page more frequently than the articles if you're not interlinking properly. So if you have a lot of these popular or the best articles list here, then it's a lot easier for Google to just go to the home page and crawl your site and find the best article and start ranking them. So those are some things that I've, I wanted to implement for the Steam. Um, so you can enable widget top and bottom. You have one and two widgets here. So the first widget and then the... So the first widget has three sections. You could do like this one, one, two, three, or f I used only one widget on the first to create this. And then I have the, sec the bottom widget here. Um, so fixed sidebar, so primary sidebar, fixed sidebar to the right, left sidebar, fixed sidebar, to the uh, to the left, so you have um, I don't know if we have and then your user information is there along with your all the articles by you kind of have that authority there. We went to SEO. Yeah. Uh, so theme logo, you could include it from the, um, there's two places where it's going to be included. Right here. And also right here. Ah, yeah, the, I have YouTube here, but I'll show you here. Uh, so logo left or middle. Um, you could do action like, since SEO is uh, SEO ranked SERP is a WordPress theme, you could access your account and download your theme. Uh, image size. 
I want it to be kind of consistent with the, the image size. Some images uh, will tend to kind of blow up too much. Um, so I want it to kind of refine the consistency of all the image. Yeah, um, table, I'll show you that. All the colors you could think of, background color, text color, primary color, link color, select the link color, link background, code color, um, quote color, table of content, uh, buttons, uh, every table border color, um, enable sidebar or left sidebar or the, uh, Disable both of them. Um, you could also disable autosave because every time you're editing an article, um, WordPress is so stupid that it constantly saves every time, and then uh, you have to wait till it saves, and then you can make the changes again, and then it saves automatically. It's just so bad. It's just wasteful um, auto saving. So I, you could just disable that. Footer section. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could enable or disable all of them. Bottom section, disclaimer. Uh, all you have to do is either uh, add a, a link and then it'll show you the um, an icon. If you don't have anything, then you just kind of remove the URL and it, it doesn't show any, any anything else. Select different types of font for the headline and for the body, uh, line height, so it makes sure that it, um, your mobile users can tap your links. So the default is 1.8, uh, body font web, um, body font weight. Because of the, let me show you. If I do 100, Kind of hard to read because it's so light, right? So now I could just add 600. It's a lot easier on the eyes. H1, H2, 3, 4, 5, 6, bullet points, and the body. So those are. Uh, customizable, very easy to do. Here is the quote. Uh, you can also change it again, like I mentioned. The settings. Um, what else am I missing? Yeah, once you have the title and then the blog title. It's on um, the actual title page. So those, so this one is um, included in the, the title. So what is the difference between? And then you have, this is automatically added once you have this one. So pretty much um, let me show you the one site that I'm just using, uh, only two plugins, just one. Uh, the theme has all the SEO needed, so you don't have to download Yoast or Rank Math or All in One or whatever. All you all you just need is a affiliate web plugin, which I'm also building, and also Linkilo for your internal linking. Uh, security, if you need it. Or you should need, include that one. Um, and then, yeah, just really trying to minimize plugin and plugin conflict and speed optimization and being SEO, having SEO done completely right out of the box. Once you install it, 
it's pretty much there. Uh, you could add Elementor if you wanted to, um, but I think it's kind of s still safe to say that um, the, f the site is kind of done for you. Uh, all you have to do is just focus on writing on the best content. Uh, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment uh, below. Uh, what I, if you do purchase this team, right? Uh, if you are requesting any features, um, I'm open to suggestions because SEO is just me and my knowledge. But if you have, if you think something's missing, and if you could find me references to who's implementing it, so I could do more research to see if it actually makes makes sense to implement, uh, then yeah, it's, de it's definitely gonna be included. If there's not much reference and there's not really a need for it, then it's gonna be not really a priority. Uh, but if a lot of people do request it um, and then get more information, then obviously um, it's something that I'm going to be uh, focused on trying to build because it's really just trying to optimize a theme so that you don't have to hire any SEO expert on any technical issues or SEO implementation. It's all white hat here. Um, everything is really optimized, so all you have to do is really focus on content, right? So instead of hiring someone for a couple hundred dollars to audit your site, see if anything's missing, the only thing that you really, really need to do is uh, create alt tags. Um, that's the only thing that you might be uh, if you run an SEO audit, that's the only thing that that might be missing or detected, but everything else uh, you're going to be passing with flying colors. Um, I've compared multiple teams compared to mine to see what makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is just years of SEO experience, years of using other people's team and try to make it so that it works um, for my clients and then using themes for my websites where I got frustrated with some a lot of things that uh, for Neve example, they have a lot of plugins that take a lot of resources, resources so your site's just constantly bombarding uh, a lot of resources and it affects your whole site uh, because they have so many multi purpose themes that, uh, again, you're only going to use 10 or 20 percent of this stuff. This is actually built for affiliate marketers, for even, yeah, um, I use it for local SEO too. Um, but really, just focus on, all you have to do is focus on writing pure content, and this is what it needs to transition to because, uh, obviously, um, you don't want to be worrying about any technical technical issue that's going to hinder you from ranking. Um, all you sh all you should be doing is finding the right internal linking, um, interlink with other articles that you have, and write the best content so that all, everything is really the content, the helpful part, and that's where you should be ranking uh, focus in your attention instead of um, all of the other stuff that you shouldn't be doing. And uh, the version is currently 1.42. Um, constantly updating this all the time. Any new implementation, I look at search roundtable, search engine journal, search engine land. Uh, every time, what, if John Mueller says something about something, then I'll verify him uh, and things like that and see if I need to implement it. Uh, there's uh, with John Mueller just constantly providing new information on SEO, how to do better technical or uh, optimize your site for better um, for better SEO. This is an ongoing thing, so I hope that people enjoy the Steam as much as I do. Uh, I'm really proud of it, and yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But.
That's it. Have a good one.